This is the Cholo News Report for Saturday 05, January, 2019. The United States Central Command announces that a U.S. airstrike in Marib Governorate, Yemen, has killed General Omar Mohammed al-Badawi, who masterminded the 2000 USS Cole, bombing that killed 17 American sailors. Russian rescuers have been forced to temporarily halt the search for dozens of missing people in the rubble of a collapsed high-rise apartment block as the building risk crumbling further, officials said, with the incident claiming at least seven lives. Egypt's Prime Minister Mostafa Magboli speaks to journalists as he arrives at the hospital, where Vietnamese victims of an attack on a tourist bus were taken, in Al Haram district in the Egyptian capital Cairo's western twin city of Giza. Protesters wearing a yellow vest stand, next to a burning barricade as they demonstrate against rising costs of living they blame on high taxes at the A. 9 Highway Toll of Albolu, southern France. An attack by Rakhine Buddhist rebels on four police posts. In Myanmar's Rakhine state kills 13 policemen, and injures nine others on the country, marked Independence Day. It was also in the rest of Western State that a militarized crackdown in 2000 and 17 prompted hundreds of thousands of minority Rohingya Muslims to flee westwards to neighboring Bangladesh. The separate conflict between the military and Iraqan army rebels forced 2,500 civilians from their homes by the end of last year, according to the United Nations. The official Myanmar news agency said for police posts, in the Buthidong area in northern Rakhine came under attack from hundreds of Iraqan army fighters after daybreak on Friday. The Lima Group announces that from January 10, 2019, the government of Nicolas Maduro will no longer be recognized by the governments which compose the multilateral body. The Lima Group, which includes Brazil, Argentina and Colombia, issued a joint statement on Friday, calling on Maduro to set power to the opposite on controlled National Assembly until new elections can be held, following a meeting in the Peruvian capital. Thirteen of the group's members will not recognize Maduro's new term and will also bar high-ranking Venezuelan officials from entering their territory as much as their domestic laws allow, the statement said. Relations have warmed under leftist President Andres Manuel López Obrador who faced criticism for inviting Maduro to his inauguration in December. The United States Department of State announces that U.S. Special Representative for Syria Engagement James Jeffrey also assumes the position of Special Presidential Envoy for the Global Coalition to counter the Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant, succeeding Bretton Cook. Separately, a State Department official says that there is no timeline for the withdrawal of U.S. troops from Syria. Separately on Friday, the U.S.-led coalition said it carried out 469 strikes in Syria between December 16 and December 29 that destroyed nearly 300 fighting positions, more than 150 staging areas, and a number of supply routes, oil lubricant storage facilities and equipment. The Pentagon spokesman said coalition forces, which Washington coordinates, were continuing to assist the SDF with close air support and artillery strikes in the middle Euphrates River Valley. The fact that James Jeffrey joined the administration as the special representative for Syria engagement was noteworthy in part because the president had initially blacklisted so-called never-Trumpers.